Hey YouTube, this is your girl Sandra, aka Simply Love, and I'm here to do your monthly reading for you for the uh, sign of Taurus, and it's going to be Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, remember, these are general readings, okay? So you know the energies that I receive here are going to be going throughout the whole, the you know the universe, the world, okay? So some messages are going to pertain to you, and some aren't. Uh, remember, these are just general readings; they're not private readings, okay? So some things may stick out to you, all right? If you like to own, have your own personal private reading, you can reach me below in the description um, uh, for your own personal energies and what what's coming in for you but these are just general remember that okay um, remember to uh, come follow me out on instant go if you want an instant you know question what for an answer I'm available to you all the time except you know you know when we're all sleeping can't nobody you know what I mean you know what I mean but uh, if you have a iPhone or a iPad you can go ahead on and um, download the instant go app um, like I said, if you look below in the description, all you have to do is click on my Instant Go uh, link and it'll take you right straight to my app. Go ahead and join me. Appreciate all of you who have joined me so far. Really appreciate it. Um, hasn't come out in Android yet. Once it comes out in Android, we will make that announcement. So you can also go on your computer to instantgo.com and, you know, sign up there. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, for the sign of Taurus. We're going to go ahead and get into the reading here. Confinement within the married mar marital system. This talks about contract, you know, like it says, confined to a marriage, you know, feeling maybe some of you are holding on to a relationship or somebody's holding on to you in a relate in a marriage because there's confinement here. And if you look at the picture, it looks like somebody's holding on to somebody that wants to let go, wants to leave. OK, so somebody's feeling that way, seeing the full half of the glass. OK. That somebody maybe need to come into re realization of, of this situation, okay? This is spiritual poverty and materialism. So somebody's, you know, may have lost something, you know. Uh, here's the front. Somebody could be like, you know, full of them. <laughs> somebody could just be wanting materialistic things. Somebody's very materialistic. Okay, somebody's very materialistic, and I had done y'all video already. Um, I'm just redoing it um, because something was going on with the computer. Something froze up, and it's like this is aggravating as crap. And I'm trying to get these videos out here, and it wants to act up. So, the cards that I have for you that I had for the first reading, just gonna do it again. Um, like I said, somebody is. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here where somebody feels like um, emotional, they're emotional, they have to walk away from somebody's walking away from something or somebody. Something is very emotional. Somebody, like I said, could be a commitment for some of you, some of you, a long term relationship or a marriage situation. Something's been long term here because there's eight cups there in the back still standing. Somebody's um, emotionally walking away. It's like they don't want to, but they have to. Somebody's not a happy camper. Okay, and you got the hermit, but it's in reverse. It could be a Virgo person who is like not feeling it. Not thinking things through. Not going inside themselves for any answer. So somebody's refusing to think things through. It could be because of this uh, princess or prince of uh, prince or princess of swords, which is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here. Or this is an actual person, so it's a person here. So this person may be the one that's cutting you off, or letting you go, or giving you an ultimatum, or you know, really being um, not a happy camper. Okay, somebody's being very direct with the truth right up front they may be the ones that's causing you to feel this way like pushing you away or something something you invested a lot of hard work and energy and time into all right 
It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And then with the star card, it's just not working out, okay? The wish Your wishes aren't working out. If it's you, if it's not these energies, remember you can reverse these energies, okay? Because something here is unbalanced with the six of, of uh, pentacles in reverse. Again, we're talking about Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, getting a lot of earth energy around you. A Virgo in particular, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, somebody's looking into the future, you know, somebody's thought about something, they see their ships coming in, okay? Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Somebody sees their ships coming in and they're, you know, waiting for it. They're waiting for their ships to come in, okay? They turn their back on the situation, waiting for their ships to come in. And, but somebody is trying to, you know, maybe trying to rescue, because this looks like somebody, you know, like the knight in shining armor or the or the princess of, of, of shining armor to me, like somebody's coming in here trying to save something. That's what it looks like to me. They're coming in trying to make a save something that wants to leave. Or somebody wants to leave a situation, but somebody wants to hold on, trying to rush in. It could have been from a marriage with the Six of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be from somebody you've been with for a long time since childhood. A marriage, a long-term relationship here, I'm seeing. Somebody's trying to save this. Something from the past, too, has to do with this. Could be a past, somebody coming in from the past. For some of you, some of you could be thinking about somebody from the past or your partner, maybe. And they want to start a new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, with judgment here, it means like all right, wrong things that were wrong will be righted. It talks about balance. And, um, it talks about fair, a fair decision, a just decision. It also talks about karmic, you know, what goes around comes around, karmic situations or karmic ties, balancing things out, you know, making a, 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 a decision. It talks about divorce as well. Separation, you know, separate of assets, letting go of assets. Maybe there's some, maybe that's where that material thing come from. Like somebody invested a whole lot of something into a marriage or relationship here and um, they're not wanting to let that go. Okay, so it has to be go through a legal situation if you're separating from this person or this person leaving you. Uh, it's transformation time, okay? Things are going to transform, a brand new beginning, a new dawn, okay? Old things being left behind and new things coming in. That's what transformation is all about. A new beginning. And it's going to make someone happy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, a cancer in general. You know, somebody's moving forward here. Somebody's like taking off for new beginnings. All starting all over again. Leaving anything behind. Not even looking back, okay, at what was. Because there was a transformation made for somebody. Uh, new beginnings with the world card. This is all about new beginnings, brand new starts after, you know, seeing things for what they really are. This is a denial card to me. It's like somebody knows could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, and they was refusing to, somebody here is refusing to see the truth of the matter, okay, of this situation that's going on, okay? Somebody's refusing to see it uh, because they're crossed or if they're at the crossroads and they're blindfolded to it, not making a decision, Okay, uh, of letting go. Actually, you know, somebody's not making a decision or blind, they're blinding themselves to the truth of letting go of a situation. Okay, they're not letting go because the Ten of Swords is in reverse. It's, you could be dealing with the air sign, but for somebody is moving on and they're tying up loose ends, and they're you know they got the world here. Either you, this your energy, or someone else's. You know, they're they're starting new beginnings. There's new beginnings starting here for either you or someone around you. Uh, because, they, uh, you know, there was some juggling going on, some back and forth, maybe some indecision, you know, somebody coming in, going out, coming, not making, not making up their mind what they want to do. Um, could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy here, and it has to do with a marriage, okay? Somebody who's married or in a long-term relationship or a family situation. Somebody wants a second chance, okay? Somebody's not letting go, Taurus. There's the moon card saying, better watch that stuff, okay? Something, you know, there's something in, in, somebody needs to use their intuition and listen to the heed because, the, you know, the moon is uh showing you or trying to tell you something here. Whoa, you might want to think about reconciliation here because... 
something's not right in this relationship and it has to do with a, you know, going back and forth or, you know, second party here. And somebody's not a happy camper, okay? Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, male or female, because it is a court card. Somebody's putting their foot down. Somebody's like giving an old chop, chopping block, okay? Somebody's like being cold and calculated. Somebody's like unemotional in this situation. Somebody's being defensive and saying no, step back or something like that, you know. Hope this thing don't black out on me. I, I just I can't do it. <laughs> okay. So we got temperance where there needs to be some balance. Somebody needs to balance their emotions. Somebody's out of control with their emotions, okay? And it looks like it may be this queen of swords or king of swords. Somebody's, you know, really got it in for somebody. Somebody's not a happy camper. Somebody don't like to see something. Somebody leave. Or end things. But there's going to be a, you know, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here of somebody being disappointed. Somebody's disappointed. Somebody's crying like a baby. Somebody's like, you know, crying over spilt milk like babies. Just, you know, sulking and crying, almost acting childlike to me when that I see that. Because somebody's focusing on a negative energy. Somebody's holding on to the past. But there's two cups in back of this person. It's five cups. Three of them are spilled. The two in the back reminds me of, you know, there's two cups to be filled here. But if you're going to cry over spilt milk and focus on the negative, how are you going to fill those two cups in the background? So somebody needs to quit sulking and crying and going on and move on with their life. Okay? Again, this has to do with a third party. Somebody may have found that out and got disappointed. Okay? From a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And there was confusion, okay? Somebody had choices or other options. Somebody found, you know, was being sneaky. You know, some type of deception going on. Something going on, in, you know, behind your back. Some lies being told. It could be from somebody from afar. Be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a... Some communication. Somebody... Some, some type of communication or some type of uh, travel or somebody's involved, you know, maybe seeking something online or talking to somebody from afar. Somebody's traveling or somebody's sneaking away too for some of you. Sneaking away and moving away. And there's some disappointment again. Somebody, you know, is just not feeling the, the love with the four of cups. Somebody has a missed opportunity because that cup is coming from the sky. But if you look down here, they're not even looking at that damn cup. Again, it's almost like this five of cups, okay? But this is the four of cups. Somebody missed out on an opportunity or something. Somebody not wanting to let go. Somebody maybe trying to come in. Somebody snuck away for, for some of you. And um, somebody has to or is rebuilding their life again with the Seven of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They're um, rebuilding, starting all over again and then waiting to see what happens. Or somebody's waiting around on something that probably ain't going to happen. Let me see here. Right, because this prince or princess is moving on. Okay, they're looking... They're looking away from this Seven of Pentacles, like whatever somebody's waiting on here, you know, it's a missed opportunity or some kind of disappointment. Somebody don't want somebody here. Somebody just wants to move on, okay? Somebody's putting a hold, you know, they're, they're, they're stopped. They're, they're stop. Somebody's waiting, but somebody else is like, no, put everything on hold while they think about things. Both of these cards remind me of somebody thinking, being methodical, planning something. Somebody's planning something. Um, they're already on the move because they're on their horse, okay? So that's like somebody in their car getting ready to go, but they're planning on where they're going at. 
So definitely the plan of going is here because they stopped. Look like two people looking away from one another. Shit, this this is an actual person. They they thinking about their they're being methodical, thinking again, a card of thinking, of moving on. These are cards of thinking. This person's turned their back already. Two turned their back, thinking about the future. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo for some of you. Planning, making plans on which direction they're gonna go in. What choice? What choice here? Um, somebody's going to get an epiphany. The truth is going to set them free. That's the truth will set you free. All right. So somebody's in truth and they're going to set themselves free and become independent. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And they're going to learn to, they're loving their self or found a new love, a brand new love. That's about brand new love. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. I'm looking for a new love, baby. A new love, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jody Watley can look that up on YouTube. I'm looking for a new love. That's what I'm that's the energy I'm feeling right now with Taurus. Or reverse it, Taurus. This can be going on with some of you. Okay. Remember to just general reading, not necessarily all of you. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. See if there's some messages there. If not, get yourself a personal private read and see what's up. The truth shall set you free. Them is my main words here. Yeah, somebody's disappointed. They don't want somebody. Don't want somebody here. See that person there? Got their little cup and trying to offer it. This other person look like I'm bored as shit. I don't want that damn cup. Go some damn where. Get back in the ocean because she looks like a dog on dolphin. I'm not a dolphin, but you know, mermaid or mer a man made, whatever. But they look like they just swam. Or like, here's my cup. Will you please take it? I'm offering you some love. Or is a missed opportunity again for some of you, or you, somebody's doing this to you, missing out on love, not wanting the love, bored to tears and shit, like unhappy. <sighs> Somebody, that's the energy I'm getting, and I'm feeling. Uh. <laughs> okay, spirit. What other messages we have for Taurus here? What other messages for the sign of Taurus for the month of May. What energies are coming in? What should they expect for the month of May? What do you want them to know? Spirit guides, ancestors. What do you want them to know for the month of May? For Taurus, Taurus the bull. Male, females, messages, please. Let's see here. Let's see, what we got okay. We got the devil here. Unhealthy relationship or unhealthy situation is the reason why there's something unhealthy going on here. Somebody you know wants a new beginning in a relationship, uh, and um, somebody's just waiting around. Somebody here is waiting around. Somebody's got left put on hold because somebody's looking into a new relationship because something here is not healthy. Whatever that unhealthiness is, that's for y'all to figure out. It could be a whole lot of things, some type of addiction. All right. It doesn't matter whatever it is. It's unhealthy. So somebody's looking to hear some good news. Okay. And the good news may be this knight or princess of wands. Somebody, they're looking for like um, uh, somebody's getting some good news about um, this knight or princess of wands re and they're it's, it, whatever the news is is very exciting it's good news and it's um like um, somebody's coming in with some passionate excitement and like I said uh, for some of you they're coming from afar okay you've been talking to somebody from afar they're coming in here there's communication there's travel and then there's going to be an ending, okay, for new beginnings with the death card. So some of y'all is going to transform. You know, it's going to be a total transformation from one thing to another, okay? Something ends and something new comes in with the transformation and spiritual. With the Hereford, it has something to do with a marriage or, you know, a relationship. Um, contracts being signed, doing things the right way this time around 
you know, with the Hierophant being here. Hierophant could be a preacher, a teacher, a spiritualist. Somebody may be, you know, becoming a spiritualist. Somebody may be getting in tune with their spirit, more in tune with their spirit. And the Three of Pentacles here, you know, talks about, you know, a, a collaboration with somebody. Could be third party situations at some kind of work situation. Could be where somebody's, you know, dismissing themselves out of a third party situation by uh, releasing it. Somebody could be releasing a commitment because this person is writing something down here, okay? It's like maybe they're releasing something from a third party. Somebody could even got a job loss or something with a partnership. You could have been in a partnership with this person and you're tiedly, tied to them materialistic-wise. Somebody could just want all the money or all the material things because they're tied to them or they feel invested. But if somebody's going to get disappointed, though, be careful with that, trying to have it all or want it all. I know somebody's not is upset, not a happy camper, but this may cause some type of disappointment. You may not get what you think you're going to get, or somebody else may not get what they think because you know, with the five of cups, that's just disappointment. You know, somebody is disappointed. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and it's regarding a marriage or a live-in situation or a family situation and this is where again you know somebody's like uh not seeing things for what they really are and refusing to see the truth in some type of denial um could be with this king or queen of swords aquarius gemini or libra getting a lot of air energy earth energy Again, somebody needs to, you know, get to their self. Somebody wants to be by their self and think, think things over. Um, and what, after thought, it may become a separation or somebody might blow up or explode or two people going their separate ways. And then somebody's going to feel poverty, left out in the cold, maybe a la losing money because of a, a partnership or an arrangement or something like that. Might lose out on a lot here. But here's the star card talking about hope. It could be for some of you with an Aquarius that's ready, you know, to cut things off, okay? Ready to cut things off and start building into something else. It could be somebody wanting to just be independent, okay? That's what I got for you, Taurus. Just same scenario, okay, for some of you. All right. Okay, Spirit, what additional information can you give or advice or what a sign of Taurus for May? So some of this situation sounds like, you know, a, a marriage or some kind of bonding contract with somebody, all right, which you invested a lot in or they invested a lot in you. I feel like there's going to be somebody greedy in this situation. They're ready to go. Somebody wants to hold on, but somebody else they don't want it. So and somebody's mad, and um, they're going to be fighting over, or over uh, I think, over material things. That's what I'm picking up. Some material things going to be, somebody's going to be fighting over. <sighs> but I don't think that's going to work out too well for somebody, whoever's trying to be greedy here. Okay? Um... Presents. Bring your mind. Damn it. I'm sorry, y'all. It's getting a little dim in here now. Bring, um, bring your mind into present moment time. Now is the only place to be. Presence. Okay. Okay. And then we got comfort. 
Learn, lean back into the arms of grace. Let go and let God. See, you got to let go of something. You got to let go. Stop holding on so tight to let God work this thing out for you. So relax, let go and let them take it because it's illumination here. Okay. Believe in the power of grace. When we least expect it, a new door will open and the light of grace will illuminate your next step. Okay, so you got here illumination, comfort, and presence. So be in the present moment, chill out, let go, let God, and then just like taking these energies when the new door open. There is new when things end. There's always something new to begin. To begin, that's life. That's life. Can't hold on to something that don't want to be held on to. Remember that. Let it go. Leave it up to the universe. Okay, Taurus, we first thing we got here is purity, okay? Purify yourself, okay? Purify yourself, um, ground yourself, come clean, all right? Come anew. Um, protection, you are protected already. You know, you have to know this, that you're protected. Know that you're being guided. Um, know that you're safe, okay? If you allow these energies in, you, you have protection, um, discernment, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Okay. So it's time to just chill like, and let go and let God as those other cards mean. That's what I feel like discernment is talking about in your case. Let go, let God work it all out for you. Don't be so, you know, caught up, let go, breathe. Okay. So if you'd like to have a personal private reading with me, just look below. All my information is there. I want to thank each and every one of you for viewing my channel. Um, again, I love you guys and you take care and I'll see you on mid month. Bye-bye now.